Банде Гуру Падатам Дам Бхакта Винда Саманитам Шри Чайтанна Прабхум Банде Саходитам Си Нанда Нанда Нанг Банде Радхика Чарно Дайям Гопи Жано Самаюктам Банша Калпатару Вешеки Пасинду Бевечу, Патитанам Пабуни Бхавишна Бибью Наму Нама, Мукан Карути Бача Лан Пангун Лан Хети Гидим, Ятки Патама Хангабанди Парама Нандамадам, Брендавай Тузиде Пой Пиявай Кесуасачу. Шна Бхакти Паде Деви Сатто Баттуи Наму Нама Нараяну Намаскитта Наранча Ивана Раттама Девин Сабасати Невясам Тато Джайо Мудире Санкирта Некишна Кату Падеши Гаурия Патрашу Пракаса Нича Садану Рапта Гуру Бхакти Юкта Бхакти Прамадакша Джагод Барану Дейям Сада Пари Бхабагна Мавишту Духам Титас Падам Сива Виранчану Там Сараньям Витатихам Панатапал Бхабад Дипутам Банде Махапурушати Чарна Давиндам Ят Пада Паллава Накачанда Маничатая Биспуриджи, так и мы пико по воду шведерши. Куруна, ну рагара, сосагара, сагара, мути. Сарадика, мы Шиаддай Тавала Дхараси Васади Хи Гаура Бхакта Бинда Харе Кришна Харе Кришна 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 Харе 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 Рам Харе Рам 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 Харе Аяну ламбита бхуджо канака бодату, Сангиртана и капитару камала ятакша, Вишам бару дижа бару джугадхар мапало, Банде джагат приякару, Каруна мутару, Ари Кишна, Ари Кишна, 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 Ари, Ари. Харе Рам, Харе Рам, Рам Рам, Харе. Аджану ламбита бхуджо канака бодату, Шанкиртана и капитару камала ятакшо, Вишам бару дижа бару джугадхарма палу, Банде ягат приякару, Каруна Батару, Харе Кишна, Харе Кишна, 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 Харе, Харе, Харе Рам, Харе Рам, Рам Рам, Харе, Харе, Намами Ганге Панкаджам. Сура Сурайр Ваннито Дипарупам Муктин Чамуктин Чадада Синитам Бхаван Рупен Садана Ганга Таранга Рамания Джата Калапам Гаури Нирантара Бибуши Нараяно приямананго мадапарам, барано сипурапати бхаджави шанатам, 
वागीशजुषु बदने लक्ष्मीर जश्य च बक्षशी जश्य आस्ते हिदय संबीर त्वम् निशिंगम हम भजे हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे सात कृष्णा मचरिता दीशिता प्याविद्या पितो पतप्त रसन सन रुचिकानु किंतु अदराद अनुदिनम खलु सही बजुष्टा साधही क्रमाद भवती तदगतो मूल हंति शाप कृष्ण नाम चरिता दीशिता प्याविद्वा पितो पतप्त रसन सन रुचिकानु किंतु अदराद अनुदिनम खलु सही बजुष्टा जुष्टात् साधही क्रमाद भवती तादेगतो मूलहंति गौरियों गोष्ठी पति सिसिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गुस्से में देखो पहुँचा सिसिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर गोपाल जगतगुरु टोल्ड डेट डोज हुआ डूइंग हरि नाम डोज हुआ डूइंग हरि भजन वो डूइंग एक्चुअल हरि भजन दे आर नॉट एट ऑल ब्लेम they are not at all blaming anyone. There is actually no reason for that. Whatever is uh, going on, it is by the grip of Bhagwan. Only those who are actually doing Nam Bhajan, that is actually Vastavik Sadhu, like Haridas Thakur, you can just see the case. No, no one he has actually, I'll definitely tell you about this point. So, Gaudiya Gusti Patishi Shila Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Goswami Thakur Prabhupada Paramahans Jagat Guru Jagat Guru told that only those who are doing Harinam, those sadhus, those who are Nama Ashray Sadhu, they are not at all just blaming anyone. They are not finding fault in anyone. They are just thinking that whatever is done, that is all done by the mercy of everyone. So, sometimes we are thinking, having misconception about this point, that Bhagwan hasn't done this, so who is Bhagwan? That my child was dead and this has happened in my life. He was just all the time speaking like this. But those devotees are not speaking like that. Devotees have a very different conception about Bhagwan. When Bhagwan is Rasmaya and Bhagwan is Rasmaya, and Bhagwan is all Mangalmay, that then definitely he will give us, uh, it will give a Mangal to us. If your Bhagwan name is Brasmay, he is Anandamay, Mangalmay, then he will do a Mangal for us? No, not at all. Can it be possible? No, it can't be. If there is one Rasgulla, you will get from the north side, you will cut. You will get you will get sweet from all the directions. You will get only sweetness from that rasgulla when you will cut it from all directions. In the same way, Bhagwan is also Anandmay and Chinmay and Mangalmay, and his Bhagwan is Mangalmay. And this kind of vichar is not why Bhagwan has done this. Why Bhagwan? This can't be possible like that. When what is exactly good for us, which is fitting for us, Bhagwan will do that. Means according to our karam fal, we are just getting all the results, but ultimate result is given by result. Like this, it is the rules. So, what is the what is the actual role of Bhagwan in this? So that's why Prabhupada speaking that Bhagwan that is Dayamaya, that Dayamaya, whatever the arrangement is given by that Dayamaya, the merciful God, Lord. Whatever the arrangement is given in our life, that I am here, each and every arrangement, everything is Mangalmay, Bhagwan is Mangalmay. Whatever is given by Bhagwan, whatever is done and what will be done and what was done previously and what will be done in future, everything is Mangalmay. 
what that merciful Bhagwan, each and every action is topmost. Shri Gaur Sundar, Prabhupada speaking. Shri Gaur Sundar, he is actually instructing us or giving different kind of uh, different kind of uh, uh, difficulties we are just put into and they are giving us in dif- different conditions in order to test us so whether we are actually interested for that your topmost mangal we are interested or not he is just testing us for that and in each and every testing that devotees are just getting passed like Prahlad Maharaj in the life of so much uh, testing was there Hiranya Kishpu was taking but still each and every testing was just passed by Prahlad Maharaj Haridas Thakur will never ever have done any kind of blaming on anyone knowingly also that Ramchandra Puram Ramchandra Khan has actually has done Ramchandra Khan has uh, knowingly just wants to make me into the fallen condition he knows that Haridas Thakur he just wants to prove that I am a fallen soul in order to prove that he has sent Lakshakira that pros to Haridas Thakur but still uh, Haridas Thakur not uh, finding fault in that Musalman ruler, that Kazi, in 22 markets, uh, he just, uh, uh, just uh, uh, fighting with Haridas Thakur. Why you are doing Harinam? Still, Haridas Thakur is not at all uh, doing any kind of Pratibhad. Why? He is not fighting with them. Why? Haridas Thakur actually speaking, so you see, if you are just be you just be giving to you will just be cutting my body into pieces also still i can't uh, i can't stop speaking about harinam still my tongue will definitely be broke that harinam what i am doing still it will not stop you see the nishtha then uh, after that in the saptagram raghunath das goswami that father his father jetha Hiranya Govardhan in the assembly of Hiranya Govardhan that Gopal Chakravarti there is one that wicked Brahman was there he actually has just done uh, a prad on to lotus feet of Haridas Thakur that when Haridas Thakur was speaking glorification of Harinam he just came there and speaking that he is just an emotional person is Haridas Thakur that's why what the tapasya adi all this is there we can get in Harinam how it is possible Haridas Thakur not speaking and uh, speaking anything when the whole material persons are speaking that he is a wicked person, how he is actually doing a prad on the lotus feet of Haridas Thakur and uh, Haridas Thakur speaking that actually there is no fault in him. He has no fault in that. He don't have any faith in Harinam, so what to do? That is the actual uh, fault in him. So you can't do anything. So a Bhagavad Parshan not at all uh, finding any fault in anyone. Okay, she is doing what to do. Like Srila Bhakti Deit Madhav Goswami Maharaj. In his whole life, he is just speaking his uh, life history. Like about the bhajan life. That one time, the two to four god brothers, uh, they are just speaking to in front of High Grave Brahmachari that you do one thing, that you speak in front of Prabhupada, that uh, 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 we can't do one lakh harinam because there is a lot of seva. How to do that? You please just, uh, no, you have to go in front. If you go in front of Prabhupada and speaking, it will be good. Then uh, he then uh, he just went to Prabhupada and was just uh, giving fan, hand fan to Prabhupada at that time. And Prabhupada always used to take very less but still was doing hand fan. And Prabhupada speaking, I just want to ask one thing to Prabhupada. Prabhupada speaking, yes, actually all the devotees are seeing that uh, so much seva is there that uh, just by doing seva we are not getting time to do harinam, to do one lakh harinam. And you are giving us the Upadesh to do one lakh harinam. Prabhupada actually speaking, what, what, night time you are doing what? Night time you are sleeping, you just need to do one lakh harinam, after that you can sleep. Just by hearing it is feel, look like that Prabhupada is merciful. 
दैट माधव स्वामी महाराज जिस नाम पर आए ऑल द टाइम इट लुक्स लाइक दैट दी एट नाइट टाइम दैट एट प्रभुपाद ऑल्सो देर वॉज नो फोन एट दैट टाइम एंड जस्ट बाय राइटिंग ऑल द लेटर्स एंड जस्ट बाई डूंग हरी नाम ऑल द नाइट सो नाइट्स नाइट्स आफ्टर नाइट्स आर गॉन इन द लाइफ ऑफ माधव गोस्वामी महाराज एंड भक्ति बलभ तीर्थ गोस्वामी महाराज सो मच नाइट्स हैव गॉन लाइक दिस स्लीपलेस नाइट्स ऑल द टाइम गिविंग आंसर्स टू द लेटर्स बट स्टिल नो फॉल्ट नो बडी हैज नो बडी हैज दी हैज दैट फॉल्ट इज नॉट फाइंडिंग फॉल्ट इन एनी वन दिस माधव गोस्वामी महाराज हिज ओन गॉड ब्रदर दे आर एक्चुअली विद वेरी क्लेवर मूड they are just uh, 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 getting madhav goswami maharaj out of chaitanya math chaitanya math uh, madhav goswami maharaj was acharya of chaitanya math but uh, forcefully madhav goswami maharaj don't want to become acharya but just for pratishtha fighting for pratishtha they are just uh, uh, kicking out madhav goswami maharaj out of chaitanya math so whatever those devotees who have just taken acharya of madhav goswami maharaj because uh, madhav goswami maharaj acting as acharya at that time so all the all the actually devotees were just uh, making one master plan to just uh, uh, make throw every devotee and madhav goswami maharaj out of chaitanya math at that time to jashmi maharaj there was to jashmi maharaj at that time and he has his different name his damodar maharaj tirth maharaj ji everyone so all those actually are there uh, All together, they were sent out of Chaitanya Math very cleverly, and actually, you will uh, go out actually so because Guru Dev will become very uh, actually this case one kind of clever thing what they have done, and so much actually this kind of incidents are there, but still those those people who have done this, then they become uh, no, when they become. Uh, supportless then maharaj actually given everything uh, uh, facility they have given uh, to them to these devotees this is called this is called sadhu shila bhakti dai bhakti dai madhav goswami maharaj always used to speak one shloka that shlok i haven't find anywhere what he was speaking is log humko mila nahi this shlok i haven't find it anywhere kahan se mara ji from where mara ji actually speaking this shlok ye jo chandan jitna kisho all when you will be just rubbing the chandan you will get get more and more uh, smell of that so sadhu when the gold when you will be just uh, making it into fire then it will become more uh, pure in molten form there is one shlok what madhav goswami maharaj used to speak that i can't remember and after that he used to speak that sadhu is that on which whenever you have any kind of problem is coming in his life very easily all the these problems he can cut off he will not be uh, giving any kind of punishment or fault he will not be finding in anyone that is a actual sadhu who is who is actually naam ashray sadhu that is actual vichar of him shri gaur hari shri gaur hari corona karke he is merciful to us and uh, coming in the form of antaryami he is uh, giving uh, uh, just giving this instruction to all those persons inside the heart bhagwan is there all present and those who want that actual thing for bhagwan actually giving him the right thing at the right place so shri gaur hari this is the actual merciful uh, kripa of gorang mahaprabhu when we have just taken a nishkapat uh, ashray of that guru pad padma for them we should not at all ulta rasta mein jaane ka chance nahi we will not be going in the negative direction at all when we there will be no uh, lot of shraddha will be there inside heart lot of examples are there like in the life of shila bhakti bala tit ko swami maharaj in the life of shila vaman go swami maharaj lot of examples are there nothing no one can do kavi nishkapat rup se they have with nishkapat bhav they are taken shelter of hari guru pad padma like this they are done prabhupad actually speaking us speaking in front of us so the shlok which i have already started with that uh, the in depth discussion about naam bhajan is there why we should do why we are not getting taste in hari naam 
that naam when we are just doing the mala in harina of harinam we are just feeling asleep we are not finding very well to do harinam why it is like this we don't have any ruchi to do harinam but we have heard a lot of time and have spoken this vichar a lot that apart from harinam nothing is above all harinam is chintamani harimani is chintamani sadvastu but we don't have this uh, confidence belief and if some some belief is there that so so much of anarth is there inside us we are just uh, fi- finding sleeping sleepy when we are doing mala uh, Shila Rupa Goswami Pad has given answer in uh, up front of this that like misri like a misri kenri that is very sweet but this sweetness is there that is naturally there but in those that uh, who are getting yellow fever they were getting jaundice. who has got jaundice like yellow fever sometimes i have seen a person who is already on that he, he don't know that he got jaundice he is think some uh, normal fever is there he don't have any he don't know anything about that disease but when actually his uh, it was too late his condition becomes very severe and his uh, liver got failure and he just got died lot of persons he is a millionaire there is no abhav of money but still he don't under can't understand he that he got jaundice but when he was uh, went to the hospital about it was too late and now they are swim maybe doctor speaking that he can be saved or not that is called sirish bhai his name i always used to go there or to give scientific things to him lot of uh, lot of years before i used to go. so he this millionaire just got died he don't know How? so like this cranberry if that cranberry actually is very sweet naturally it's sweet there is sweetness in that but those who have got jaundice that yellow fever is what for him he is just finding it detasteful sore he is finding it sore he is not finding it good at all so he is getting it sore okay but that what is the actual truth whether it is it is sore no it is sweet but it looks uh, looks sore it is not at all sore but it seems it sore to that person but that is not actually this is apparent truth now you are at getting it sore this cranberry okay this is also not uh, false but for a time being you are finding it when the disease will go away automatically you will find it very sweet There will be no ruchi inside us, but still, the actual treatment of that disease, of this yellow fever disease, so what you that is only one thing. The doctor is speaking that you just do, you take sita phal. and after that you just take that medicine you take uh, mishri uh, that uh, cranberry cranberry and you take green coconut all everything but it will you will not find it good that's why rupa goswami pa speaking that mishri which you are finding it very sour to with the tasteful just go on just uh, taking that that is just kind of one medicine for you slowly steadily maybe today or tomorrow you will you will get that uh, sweetness of the mishri back you will be finding it tasteful one day when you will be just taking mishri that you will be taking green coconut and all everything then definitely your disease will go away slowly steadily and when that disease will go completely from your body then definitely like a normal person you will be finding that the cranberry very sweet there is no doubt about it so sita phal this mishri this cranberry is very sweet naturally like this harinam is very sweet 
Harinam is sweet, no? Yes, Harinam is very sweet. Like in the Kirtan it is written. Like this it is also happening. One Balvachara also writing. All everything is Madhu. Madhu, Madhu, Madhu. Everything is sweet. Everything is sweet for Bhagwan. But still, it is written by Bhakti Not Thakur in Kirtan. But it still we are not finding it good. What to do? So this is a very big problem for us. So it's, it goes like this only. Maybe this is not true at all. But Harinam is all Madhur. It's very sweet. Apart from this, nothing is sweet. Then Harinam. But still we are not finding it good. I was just talking about Ajamil. About Nam. I, Nam I actually was speaking. Ajamil maybe I have talked already. I was just talking about the topic of Ajamil. About the Nam we were talking. In this. There, this kind of vichar is coming, has come, that Ajamil, maybe he is actually the topmost sinful person and at the time of death he, he is actually on the bed and in this situation he is actually just calling his child and Yamdut came and they have just become afraid just by seeing him and at that time we have already, I have already told this vichar to you that Ajamil in the first time in his life when he has just uh, made his child name Narayan then infinity sinful activities were removed at that time I am maybe knowingly unknowingly that poison you are just taking definitely and knowingly unknowingly that an innocent child was putting his hand in the fire definitely the hand will burn so knowingly unknowingly if someone is glorifying Harinam then also all the sinful activities will definitely burned up each and, each and every person and each and every object has a different uh, power so this uh, ajamil prasang i have already told you previously yesterday that yamdut and vishnu in between them what uh, uh, the discussion was going on about the glorification of harinam vishnu dut actually told to yamdut this glorification slowly steadily when hearing he was just becoming so much surprised by hearing this because at that time he was he was just coming into his own senses because Vishnu did they are actually Parshad that he has just taken darshan of them I have already told this point when you are just taking uh, Vaishnav darshan of becoming pure because uh, he is taking uh, darshan of Vaikunt Partha he is becoming pure and just by hearing the glorification of Harinam slowly steadily uh, he just become bigger. Maybe he has taken the Naam in the last means when when before he was just making his child name Narayan and then there were sinful activities infinity time just got destroyed in between that also after when he whether Ajamil was uh, hasn't changed his character at all there was no transformation in him but still he was doing sinful activities but this sinful activities uh, he was not doing uh, Naam Aparath Maybe he is just speaking uh, every day his name of his child, but at his la last time he was not doing any sinful activities. No, uh, no, bhav of sinful activity was there inside his heart. But now actually at the time of death he is thinking now. He don't want to do any kind of sinful activities and at that time when he is actually, he is no, not asking uh, Bhagav Bhagavad Nam but he is speaking the name of his child so that Nama Bhas is coming and because of Nama Bhas and because of this Nama Bhas he has just have got everything he was doing sinful activities before and that was also gone and at that time all Narayan Parshad Darshan was there and just by hearing the glorification of Harinam by their lotus mouth just by hearing that pravachan from the lotus mouth of Nar Narayan Parshad that bhakti just got uh, inculcated inside his heart, it just got activated and uh, that bhakti has his infinity, infinity sinful activities are destroyed but in a very fine form 
that for so many an earth were they are in fine form sinful activities were gone already but he, that his root of anarth was not destroyed from the up maybe when he was just taking his child name the sinful activities were gone that why uh, but his anarth from the root was not destroyed at that time and at the time of his death last time when he was doing hari naam that vishnu parshad they just came and he, after taking their darshan in a very fine form whatever uh, anarth were there in fine form all actually getting destroyed and inside his heart there that bhakti lata beej has just got inculcated and got activated and whatever he has seen and uh, heard about bhagavad katha hari katha glorification of hari naam and after that he just got into his own senses and uh, just by done lot of expiration that why i have done this he was just crying after that we become full bhakti man and after that just getting atma samarpan to lotus feet of bhagwan and that we the vivek vairagya also got activated and he was started crying like anything start he cried a lot and he was just feeling very bad that why i have done this because when bhakti is coming vivek and vairagya automatically is coming gyan everything is coming automatically so he actually just went away to haridwar just leaving beside everything that i have done a very wrong thing he just went to haridwar and after that he is just taking the hari naam of bhagwan and after that slowly steadily leaving his body and going to vaikunt platform going to vaikunt and uh, so this is so actually merciful those vaikun parshad are on him that he just got delivered now actually in this prasang there is one question that naam and naam abhas prasang maybe some big big pandit actually those devotees have they have just given a very different vichar regarding this like maybe today actually is there they have just given this vichar in any condition if he is actually just doing hari naam bhagwan can't stop himself definitely bhagwan will not stop bhagwan was becoming very full of anxiety when someone is taking his name that is the actual karuna of bhagwan in this prasang sometimes tika kar those who are pandit vyakti they have just given a very separate commentary on this that like naam and namabhas naam or namabhas do is when they are thoda sa alag sa there is some different vichar in this alag sa vichar hai ek samajhna chahiye that we should understand namabhas and naam namabhas and naam and naam aparad you just leave what to speak about that naam abad i have already told you about 10 types of naam abrad i have already told you that is called naam abrad and naam and naam abhas uh, what is the important thing in that maybe some pandit very nice pandit they are just speaking in front of us in a different vichar that when you are just leaving that uh, bhajan just be careful when you don't have the intention to do any kind of bhajan when you don't want to do any bhajan you don't have the intention to do that bhajan you don't have the intention but unknowingly or maybe just disrespecting and uh, there is some pratikul with some pratikul bhav you are just uh, taking bhagavat naam you are saying that that is naam abhas it looks like a naam abhas just be careful when you are doing a hari bhajan and that willing is intention is not there without any intention you are speaking the naam bhajan ka abhipray bhajan ka intention that intention of bhajan you are just leaving uh, apart from that you don't have the desire to just speak hari naam and no forcefully you have to speak naam and uh, that some with some pratikul bhav you are just speaking the naam that is actually taking in the form of namabhas in general this kind of vichar is going on 
I we have already just speaking in this whole coming days that this is actually Nama Bhas. But some pandit have just told that in actual this Nam of Hari Nam of Bhagwan, there is no intention of bhajan and by agya and unknowingly that Nam is coming out. That is that is actually Nam. That is not Nama Bhas. That is Nama Bhas. They are speaking. That that without the intention of bhajan, when they are not doing with the intention of bhajan, doing bhajan, just by avagya or with with any pratikul bhav, he is actually just uh, speaking nam. If you are speaking nama bhas. That is not at all Nama Bhas. You are seeing it is Nama Bhas, but that is not Nama Bhas. Actually, it is Harina. That is not a Nama Bhas. Only when you are just speaking any Nam or uh, indicating uh, that word of Nam, where I some one place name is Narayanpur. So this actually, we have to speak this uh, word Narayanpur. Narayan is also there. That he has just got his child name Narayan, Jamil. That is actually indicative word. Only sometimes Harinam is just like a, this kind of uh, word, the substitute word, it becomes a substitute word, like Muslim it is like Narayan is not there, they are not speaking, they are speaking Haram, Ha means explanatory and Ram, there is no meaning of that, so that is actually totally different, so there is actually no, no, even a indicative group that uh, Naam is gone, so the, they are actually just indicating the Naam. Maybe that indicative name, indicative word is there. Like when we are just indicating the word with the, that Naam, we are just uh, having, finding that substitute word and we are just uh, Aropit, we are doing that, uh, finding that Hari Naam, non-different from that substitute word at that time. That uh, indicative word, what we are speaking as a substitute, that will also comes in Harinam, not as Nama Bhas. Lot of big pandits are there also who are uh, speaking this. Like Narayan, sub this uh, word is a topmost word. And in general, what uh, this Narayan word, every person who knows that uh, this is Bhagavad Nam, every person will think that this is Bhagavad Nam. Like that uh, Narayan, that. Uh, if actually just uh, taking uh, this nam, name Narayan, that is a different thing. But just by speaking Narayan, that is a topmost word. Uh, it is indicating Bhagwan. That is the actual meaning of uh, Narayan is uh, Bhag- Bhagwan only. But Ajamil actually has just made his child name Narayan by chance. And that word actually is actually giving a substitute of an indicative word. That's why it is coming as a Nama Bhas. But when when that Sri Bhagavad Vachak, that is one like Muslim, I have already given you one example and Ajamil also. So that which is also there, that when someone, that Bhagavad Vachak who is already Bhagavad Bhakta, he is actually speaking some word. Just with the, uh, the target of bhajan, with the udeshya of uh, bhajan, he is actually speaking and with full shraddha and, and with parihas, with any kind, he is actually speaking harinam. Inside his heart, it is there. Inside his heart, this vastavik uh, naam, the the meaning of that uh, uh, of Naam is there in his heart he is uh, by that only he is speaking the Naam outside 
and that uh, Mahapurush actually, according to with the Udeshya of Bhajan, he is actually speaking, or maybe some Ashraddha one, Ash with Ashraddha and with Parihas, he is speaking the Harinam. In any condition, that Harinam is just, we are just uh, taking that, that uh, Shabd, that word. When we are just using it with the Udeshya of Bhagwan, just to glorify Him. Whether it is not used for bhajan, maybe some Brajvasi speaking sometimes. Oh, Radha Kundu, you will go and something will be done. But when he is speaking Radha, he is not at all actually giving that uh, uh, indicative to anyone. But uh, definitely he has just uh, uh, spoken that word Radha. Knowingly and unknowingly, he knows that word, that that is the word of Radha Rani. And he has not, but he has not used that word for Radha Rani. But actually, he is not at all actually targeting any word apart from Bhagwan. He is going to Radha Kund. Everything you will go to find everything in Radha Kund. Like this, he is actually this word directly. It is not. It is indicating Radha Rani only. There is no. He is not actually speaking this word Radha for any other girl. He has no contact with. He. It is actually indicative to Radha Kund only. But uh, unknowingly, in an unknowingly manner. So a lot of Pandit actually is just speaking this. When Bhagavad Vachak, any Mahapurush actually speaking some uh, some Udeshya of, Udeshya of Bhajan, he is speaking and with full Shraddha or Ashraddha or pari, with, with Parihas also you are speaking the Naam. In any condition that Naam is going by this uh, word actually, you definitely, it is actually indicative to Bhagwan. Whether it is not for bhajan, but still it is indicated to Bhagwan. Apart from Bhagwan, there is no other word. It is not at all indicated to any other word. Apart from Bhagwan, that word which you are using, that is not used for any other person. That is, these kind of symptoms, if it is there in the word, that is definitely Bhagavad Nam only. That is not at all Namabhas. Only that Bhagavat Vachak, a very famous word, when that it is not used for Bhagwan and it is used for other thing and other object, then at that time that indicative word can become a Namabhas. Then it will become Namabhas with indication. That will become Namabhas. So this actually in Bhagavad Gita Mahapurana it is written. This slok actually we are speaking. Okay, you are speaking this slok, but inside this slok, this Sankirtan Parihasam, by this Kamutik Nyay. That if it is there, then this will be there. If it is true, then this will also be true. This is Kamyutik Nyaya. But in Bhagavan Nam, the glorification of the Bhagavad Nam, the glorification of the Hari Nam, this shlok actually we are just speaking. In this, each and every word will not be Nam Abhas. It's not like that. So, Nam and Nam Abhas actually we just differentiate between that. So, what are the actual symptoms of bhajan? Those who are with the Ashraddhavan, with the Anukul Pratikul Bhav, he is actually speaking this Hari Nam. He is actually not speaking Bhagavad Bhajan Nam, but still, but if any person is just speaking in, in these conditions, the Hari Nam, this word actually is speaking. So, I have already told that we will go to Radhuka, Radha Kund and every problem will get solved. So, that he is told that Radha Kund, that, that is Radha Rani, that place is Radha Rani, Radha Kund. But that will not come in Namabhas. That will become Nam. With, with Nav. Shraddha is not speaking, but still that is not on Namabhas. It is not a shadow Nam. It is actually with the Abhipraya of Bhajan, he has not done that. With Shraddha, he hasn't spoken. But with Ashraddha also he hasn't spoken. And without any bhav, he has taken Naam only. But without any Anukul bhav, he has taken the Naam. So in the Shastra also, 
So this actually, in this prasang, lot of which are actually coming in like this. So when we'll be taking Anukul Bhav and we'll be doing Harinam, when we'll be doing Harinam by having that positive intent to do Hari Bhajan, just by taking the Bhakti Anushilan that uh, we are just getting maturity in our Bhajan. But what is actually Pratikul, what is against Bhakti, when we have that uh, against Bhav, against uh, Harinam, like Kans has done, like Shishupal has done, they also have the Krishna Nushinan. Definitely they have done Shishupal, Dantavarka, everyone, they have just take association of Harinam. And Jarasandha also, they have also associated with Harinam, Kans. But they have just have that against Bhav with the Harinam. So, Bhagwan and Bhagavad Nam, this actually those who are doing Bhakti Anushilan, this Anushilan, when it will become, uh, uh, become Anukulya, when it will become Anukul, then definitely that Prem will get, uh, then Prem will come inside our heart. And if in the glorification of Harinam it is all written, lot of things that we have taken, lot of names and have done a lot of things, but after that still no uh, bhava is uh, getting inside our heart. It's already written in Bhagavad also, I'll speak tomorrow. If just by taking Bhagavad Nam, no actually, no bhav is actually getting inside our heart, then definitely be sure that there inside his heart there is aparad. With aparad, when you are doing harinam, you will not be getting that bhava inside your heart. So Shishupal, Dantavarka, they have also done Krishna Nushilan, but in uh, against bhav. And our guru work, and Brajivasis and guru, our guru work, and they have just taken the Nushilan of Bhakti na anu, Anukula condition. There is Anukul and Pratikul. So when you are going against Pratikul, like Dantavarak, Shishupal, they are just taking Harinam, they are just speaking, Oh, Krishna is a fraudster, Krishna is a thief. Like this, they are speaking foul language to Krishna, like they are speaking. So Indra Maharaj also speaking like that. All this kind of foul words he is using. That Krishna is stabda, he is pachal, he is foolish. With, by taking his support, they are just actually speaking and pra, we just stop his uh, worship. So like this they are speaking the name of Krishna. Whether that sinful activity will stay, definitely all actually destroyed. So like this, this with Vesh Bhav, with the with the uh, against mood if you are just taking the harinam then you will not get the actual fruit result of harinam you will get mukti but that is also like very uh, useless mukti the shishupal what they got mukti that is sayujya mukti and sayujya mukti means there are two types of sayujya mukti one is uh, in bhagavad vigraha and in brahma jyoti they just want to get sayujya mukti in these two mukti in to get bhagavad vigraha mukti that is also very bad that kind of mukti sayujya mukti just by speaking this word sayujya inside their heart lot of pain is there inside the heart of devotees they are not at all speaking sayujya Sayuj, so this Naam actually, that Pratikula just, they, they can get Mukti just by speaking uh, against Bhav with that Harinam. And uh, when they will just go into the Brahma Jyoti of Bhagavan. Uh, otherwise, like in the Ratsurya Yagya, inside Ratsurya, when they are just speaking a false word to Krishna, just using foul word to Krishna, that Shishupal, then Bhagavan actually speaking that to, to his uh, uh, to his Bhuva, that actually if he'll, I will just be uh, rectifying his 108 Aparad and after that I will take action. So he just called uh, Sudarshan Chakra Krishna and just cut his head off. Then 108 Aparad were all uh, gone. 
and at that time it was seen there it is written there that even one drop of uh, blood was not fallen on the ground even one uh, drop of blood was not uh, getting fallen on the ground if it has been fallen then the whole yagya will get destroyed and that is actual glorification of bhagwan but when actually his head just got cut off that atma just got out of his body and slowly steadily like a light it is just going inside bhagwan because in vedant it is written uh, atma is how how it looks like atma there is we can't explain that but in vedant it is written qualitatively like light like light particle but it is not light but in this so in this condition slowly steadily that uh, atma actually going on to the lotus feet of krishna and it just goes into the lotus feet of krishna so all those rishi munis all lakhs of munis actually they were actually seeing that scenario so shishupal how he is got sauja mukti bhakti bhagavat vigraha sauja he is got but anyway this sauja this kind of sauja is very hopeless it's very bad there is no lifeless this is lifeless sauja mukti this mukti kind of mukti devotees are not at all night liking like a snake bite he is just uh, some person is taking snake bite and just sleeping all the time in the same way the commentators have told that just by taking pratikul bhav when you are just speaking hari naam then jiva will definitely get mukti like shishupal etc have got that but when you will just doing the anukulya with anukulya bhav you are taking hari naam with full shraddha you are doing shri hari naam what will happen that jeevas definitely they will get prem inside the heart of the devotees but pratikul uh, hari naam when you are do, doing that by against mood if you are doing uh, hari naam that naam abhas was just having naam abhas definitely they will the jeevas will get mukti or nothing they will not get bhakti at all bhakti they will not get they will not get bhakti they will get mukti and in mukti bhagwan is giving mukti very easily but bhakti bhakti bhagwan will not give that's why in the seventh canto of bhagavat it is written there are two shlokas in different places one narad ji it is mukti dadati that is not giving bhakti yog he is already already giving mukti bhagwan that's why in this own material world this prem bhakti is very very rare and now actually it is important to just understand this point that nama bhas and videsh whatever against bhav you have just very careful about this it is very difficult it is very put to under that by nama bhas me uh, if you have that against bhav or that pratikul bhav with that pratikul bhav you are just taking naam by that what will happen you will not at all get bhakti you will get mukti so apart from this when you are just leaving all these two aside when you are just leaving naam abhas and that against bhav when you are leaving that those who are doing this naam in this you will not get at all bhakti you will get mukti in that you will not get bhakti but whatever apart from that whatever parihasam soda with shraddha ashraddha you are doing naam ab you know that this is actually speaking the name of radharani only but still with the full shraddha is not speaking but he has not uh, indicative this is not he is not indicating that word to radharani but still he is indicating that to radharani unknowingly so that he is not just by pratikul bhav he is just uh, taking the hari naam he will get mukti so when he will be just leaving both these bhava after that any kind of uh, uh, condition he is uh, taking hari naam he will definitely get bhakti bhakti will just get sprouted inside our heart with pratikul bhav bhakti so the will not get bhakti siddhi in against bhav 
and uh, but still when the bhakti is getting sprouted definitely mukti will come when bhakti is there inside the heart mukti will definitely go behind that person so with nama bhas by nama bhas anjamil actually he has already sinful activity got destroyed but he got the from the god bhagavad darshan of vishnu dut and got the glorification of harinam from the lotus mouth of vishnu dut and that should the hari naam just got inside his heart after that their association because just by taking darshan of vishnu dut and just by taking the hari katha from their mouth from the root cause all the anarth in the five form were just uprooted and by that after that whatever he has just taken bhajan and on naam gran then he got bhakti inside his heart so this siddhant it doesn't mean that ajamil has done nothing he in nama vas everything will he has been is done no he has got prem he has got back on how it is possible so this is the actual uh, thing in that shridha swami pad actually writing shridha shridha swami pad swami pad speaking ajamilo shu hari nanoibu sarvatap chaya asuna chayantu Then, sinful activities just to destroy that is very normal thing. But he just by taking the Mahabhagavat darshan and just by glory hearing the glorification of Hari Nam because of that everything is done. That is actual glorification of Hari Nam was just manifested in front of us. And sometimes one person is actually speaking. Sometimes that how Ajamil was uh, saved because his uh, age was actually reduced. If his age is not uh, finished, if Ajamil's age was not finished at that time, then why Amdut has come to take him? Why Amdut were there to just take him? Yamraji Maharaj, why they are actually asking the Yamdu to take him? So how it is possible now? He is just going and his just age just got increased. His time just increased on this material world. How it is possible? That question can also come in your heart. And lot of which are is there in the shastra as well. That how much abrad you will do, you will definitely your age will just get reduced day by day. By sadachar, your age is increasing, and atyachar and anachar, your age is getting reduced. I have already told this slok yesterday also. I have told. In his in life of anyone, if some a kind of aparad is done, if some aparad is done in his life. If some aparad he has done by that aparad that uh, life is getting reduced. Just age is not the number; it is not reduced. But still, and your Shri, your he just becoming very uh, ugly looking also, and he is getting all his opulence destroyed, like sabri, like he she is not looking very good. But that sweet bhav is there, that bhakti is there inside heart. Lot of people are also there like this. Externally, you are not good looking, but that bhakti is there inside their heart. So much uh, topmost bhakti is there. So that is the actual prabhav of bhakti. I have already seen it practically. That he has just stopped doing bhakti, and they are just speaking foul about God, Guru Vishnu, and they are just destroying Guru Vishnu. Just after that, he just looks like a demon. If you would just want to go, I will just uh, I will show you his previous picture, and now I will be just showing his present picture. You can just distinguish between that he is just becoming like a robber. Now I will just show you the true present picture. Oh, he is actually looking like a demon only now. I have that picture with me. I'll show you that. That is a topmost thing. So if under the lotus feet of Mahat Bhakti, everything will get destroyed. That our Ayu age will get reduced. Everything will get reduced. That Shri, he just looks like a robber. He becomes a demon just by external looking. Yes, sir. Maybe before 
he has lot of fame and a lot of money he has now and he was very dharmic as well and that general not bhagavad dharma so everything will get destroyed everything will get destroyed and gurudev's ayu my gurudev age was like he was just going to stay on this material world 65 to 70 years lot of cases are there like this but uh, the age of vaishnav you you should, you should not compare it with anyone because just by the wish of bhagwan will of bhagwan vaishnav is getting his age i have just told you just about the gurudev used the gurudev with the enjoying mood just used to speak in joking mood that by doing sadachar you should do your age will increase there is some vaishnav who has just already gone before his age it doesn't mean that he is not a vaishnav so because this kind of things are not at all touching that vaishnav these all age and all everything it is all external things the vaishnav are not in this uh, cycle of birth and death they are out of that they are not material at all so that is the topmost uh, thing that when who is doing sadachar who will be following sadachar his age will definitely get increased his age will get increased and those who are not following sadachar and doing sinful activities he will his age is reduced so it is not applicable for vaishnav it is just for normal person i am speaking like prabhupad prabhupad actually was not at all noticing on his body at all not careful about his body what to eat what to drink nothing is there in his life if someone actually speaking that uh, prabhupad actually uh, age is reduced it's not like that it is just by the will of krishna prabhupad has just manifested himself on this material world lot of examples uh, in this market so they are so called devotees ma bavan goswami used to speak that he actually speaking lot of uh, hari bhajan why is so disease is coming bavan goswami mara speaking in hari katha that so much hari bhajan is doing still lot of uh, sickness is there disease is there they don't have this pers- these persons don't have this kind of uh, knowledge that this is not disease this is one kind of testing this actually sickness leela what the vaishnavas are doing they actually they want to give us seva vaishnav what how they will get sick they don't have that but they just do, will not give seva to anyone no so just by sickness they are giving seva but it doesn't mean that they have done lot of uh, pap and uh, lot of sinful activities they have done but usually it is seen here in this material world that uh, those who are satvik with satvik bhav those who are actually eating satvik everything sleeping walking is all satvik his age will increase and uh, brahmachari is also there is one uh, rules so in this one question is coming that ajamil this so much simple activities he has done by this actually his age is reduced that's why yamdoot has just came to take him and in that when ajamil is just speaking the name of bhagwan he seen that vishnu doot has just uh, from the lotus mount of vishnu doot his uh, simple activities all uprooted and now his age will not get reduced now definitely his age now will just get increased why because he has taken bhagwat naam now and by taking bhagwat naam aparad actually is get by doing aparad age is reduced but now all is in sinful activity aparad got destroyed from the root so age will his age will not get reduced now it will increase that's why that yamdoot has just came with this kind of vichar that uh, his age is he hasn't taken uh, the bhagwat naam and is done not done any kind of bhajan his age is reduced but when those vishnu doot has just came and just glorifying hari naam just by doing hari naam all kind of infinity sinful activities he has done and on earth is done it is all destroyed and uh, now they haven't taken him to the yamala there is no question about it that's why still that age was just going to get uh, over but still the vishnu doot came there and he was just saved from that so this sarathi darshini pishuna chakravarti pad in this sarathi darshini tika commentary he is speaking shesh shakti yupi tapai deva 
kind of vichar was there and they were actually told that he has done the name of bhagwan so that's why his age is not getting reduced now it will increase definitely it will increase so this is sarathani darshani commentary of vishnu jagradeep by this written so if with full shraddha someone actually that bhakti man bhagwati that uh, that mahanti With has done lot of amangal, has done lot of sinful activities. Have done this material world, done lot of atya chara. Have done, but still, he has just expiration that Ajamil was doing, uh, was crying, and maybe this sinful activities were done, but still actively all rectified. Now actually, the glorification of Hari Nam from Bhagwa, on the basis of Bhagwati Mahapurana in the seventh canto, we have just glorified that and we have just taken it that Hari Nam is so much topmost glorification is so much topmost that Satkoti Hari Nam maybe that Satkoti maybe he doing million of Ashwamedh Dagan it is not equal to one Hari Nam. If that person will be comparing with that, comparing with Hari Nam, that he will become a Pashanti. He is a fraudster, and definitely Yamraj will not will give him punishment. And previous days also we were just discussing that this Pap Kari. That he can't do this kind of sinful activities. Uh, when he will be doing one Harinam, that sinful activities will get destroyed. He can't do this much sinful activities. That is the actual power of Harinam. That just by taking Bhagavad uh, Harinam Kirtan, Prahlad Maharaj always used to do that. Prahlad Maharaj always used to do Harinam Sankirtan, always used to remember Bhagavan and always used to uh, call Bhagavan all the time. So Pralan Maharaj ji, when uh, calling Nishinga Dev in front of Nishinga Dev, Pralan Maharaj ji, in front of Nishinga Dev, he is just requesting. He is requesting in front of uh, Nishinga Dev that Prabhu, that my father, my father has done so much sinful activities on me, and now you are speaking that uh, you ask something from me. Oh Bhagwan, I am actually your son only, and I am from you. And uh, my father has done knowingly, unknowingly, lot of uh, sinful activities on myself. It means on your devotee, lot of sinful activities has done. But still, you should not do any kind of a mangal on him. Just give me this confirmation, Bhagwan, that my father will not get any kind of a mangal. Then Bhagwan just started with a very smiling face, smiling mood. So speaking Pranad, what you are actually this putting question? Definitely there will be no question of his amangal. That your father, whether there be any amangal for your father, I have just taking on my lap and just by just uh, taking his uh, on his lap and just by cutting his uh, with my own hand, I am just uh, killing him. So you are. Uh, Thinking that with uh, that touch of my transcendental hand, he will be just get a mangal. He has just got the touch of my body. He can't get any a mangal. So your father will definitely will know a mangal will be there. How can it be possible? The commentators are actually speaking about this. That Pralad Maharaj is so clever and smart. Pralad, this commentator is speaking that Pralad Maharaj is so smart and clever that he knows that. That by he has just gone onto the hand of Bhagwan, no ma- mangal will be there. But still he is asking that uh, please do mangal of my father. 
we get is actually he has done so much lot of sinful activities so he must be getting a mangal parlad maharaj actually just want a stamp parlad maharaj is very smart he knows that uh, there will be no amangal of his father of his so called father he just have definitely you have to do mangal that's why he knows that he prahlad maharaj knows that definitely mangal will be done but why he has put this question commentators to just get a confirmation letter certificate from bhagwan so that this certificate can uh, come into our discussion so now we are actually discussing that prahlad maharaj with very smart and clear uh, clever mind he knows that uh, that from the lotus mouth he just want to get the certificate from the lotus mouth of uh, nirsingha dev just a confirmation he wants a stamp or nothing that's why that bhagwat naam has uh, infinity glorification and slowly steadily i'll be telling you this uh, kirtan kari that kirtan kari bhagwan naam that whole family even the whole family uh, will just get delivered by the naam of bhagwan aur inke sath jo log rehte hain and those who are staying with that person pavitro they will just become pure there is not a question regarding that the whole kul of the kirtan kari will become uh, pure in the the that family bhagwan speaking that in that family this kind of devotee is just taking birth that 21 uh, uh, generation you are speaking i'll just do your mangal of uh, father but no what is a very small thing in that family a devotee like you is just taking birth so pure devotee is just taking birth in the family like you are taking birth like a pure devotee like you are taking birth that 21 generation of this whole family will just get delivered not a normal thing you are just speaking about your father i am just 21 generations of that family will get delivered it means that vishnu chakravarti is speaking this that don't think like this that hiranyakashipu 21st 21 generation of hiranyakashipu just got delivered it means that that in that family uh, prahlad maharaj birth after birth in that family is just taking birth all that family that 21st 21 generation will just get delivered vishnu chakravarti is speaking if this bhavna is coming that hiranyakashipu 21 generation will get delivered it's not like that how you will just uh, count the 21 generations of hiranyakashipu there will be 21 generation of hiranyakashipu or when hiranyakashipu got uh, birth you just uh, have that uh, counting brahma like brahma first after brahma slowly steadily manu manu at sector they just came and according to that if you will be the just there is not 21 generation none 21 counting will not come this is at the adi creation of the srishti so pralad birth after birth where you will just be uh, taking birth in the family in those family before that also we have taken birth that 21 generation will get delivered so those kirtan kari's family those who are doing hari naam all the time and their family just got delivered and uh, that rasna towards krishna naam vishnu naam the means krishna naam ram naam whatever is there hari naam they that naam nishth rasna that rasa for hari naam all the time he is just doing hari naam that the hari naam will just deliver us that bhagwan bhagwan ka naam the naam aadi of bhagwan just by hearing that definitely that will just purify the whole material world this is the power of hari naam prahlad maharaj speaking to one nishinga dev that those people who are with the very loud voice with the full faith in your hari naam is doing hari naam then definitely they are sadhu they are actually sadhu they can actually can uh, deliver all those with nishkapat bhav they are just uh, actual friend of all the jeevas 
so the all the kirtan kari their whole family just got delivered and with that also those who are associated with those kirtan kari mahabagwat they will also get pure that is not a that is not a question of getting pure definitely they will also get pure also so whosoever who is associated with those kirtan gani people they will also that will also get destroyed all the sinful activities regarding those persons also get destroyed you can't even imagine this point that practical lot of examples are there regarding this i will just speak one or two examples like in kalna there one uh, incident happened at the time of ekadashi there is one child there is one boy he was always used to dig nirjal ekadashi without doing any uh, night time he is doing jagran night time he is just uh, doing hari naam all night in the goridas pandit uh, and just by the permission of uh, that pujari in goridas pandit shri pat in the temple he just need to stay at the time of ekadashi night night of ekadashi and uh, uh, in the natya mandir he used to stay and uh, in there is one cement chair he always used to uh, just sit there and all the time doing naam and, and one day what happened that at the night time he just by doing hari naam that and the cement chair he was just sitting and the night time and he just placed his hand up there is one kokro snake he is just biting him and jab gokro sa and that gokro snake when he is just biting it's a very famous uh, incident of kalna everyone knows this i am just be speaking one two examples so that you can just uh, have this confidence belief and i will giving you another uh, call, uh, about the shastra so this snake actually what he is biting he is not at all crying loud because he is doing bhagavat naam just for the satisfaction of bhagwan and if he will just cry loud that bhagwan bhagwan actually in the temple is just sleeping he has that shayan leela but that's why he hasn't cried loud with lot of uh, pain he is just there and slowly steadily he just uh, go out and just taking the charnamrit he just came in front of charnamrit hari krishna hari krishna like this he is speaking and just by he hasn't stopped harinam and just taking charnamrit started taking charnamrit maybe one spoon there is no big box and he is just taking one spoon of uh, charnamrit hari krishna hari krishna krishna hari hari like this with full pain full mood and in the morning time he is just in the unconscious state uh, just down the natya mandir uh, he was just everyone find him there in the unconscious state and after that when uh, he just got a consciousness back then he just uh, told everything he has so much confidence that this charnamrit and hari naam that is a top most medicine apart from this which medicine will be there which can treat us so you see a lot of examples are there in the shastras also it is written and uh, one one time what happened that there is one bhagwan das baba there is one uh, mother just came in front of him and there is no father of his that child and that um, one mother and one child is there and father just got uh, died and mother is actually a uh, widow and she is just coming in front of baba just crying loudly in front of baba and baba is speaking why you are crying why you are crying may actually my child uh, the next day tomorrow that is his last day why why it is like that actually it is actually written that the snake will bite him and uh, uh, whether the, he will be there anywhere the snake will bite him definitely so he actually just praying on to a lotus feet that if this child will be staying then it is yours and if he will not be staying then okay he can go i am just giving this child on to a lotus feet now maybe definitely that snake will come and bite him like the case of parikshit maharaj that snake just gone and bite him in the same manner this child will also be get bitten by that snake and he will just get died okay you just uh, leave him here and next day and the night time that child is very small he is becoming very fearful that snake will come to bite that snake that child was started crying 
भगवान दास एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग यू डू वॉन्ट इंग यू टू सिट हेयर एंड आई एम जस्ट सिटिंग बैक इन द भजन कुटीर ही इज डूइंग भगवत नाम एंड यू डू हरिनाम ही इज स्पीकिंग टू चाइल्ड एंड हेयर आई हैव जस्ट डन वन मार्किंग विद दैट सैंड लाइक लक्ष्मण जी हैज जस्ट मेड वन मार्किंग फॉर सीता जी दैट एरिया वॉज क्लोज बाय लक्ष्मण जी फॉर सीता जी दैट यू डोंट नीड टू गो आफ्टर आउट ऑफ दिस लाइक द चाइल्ड यू डोंट नीड टू गो आउट ऑफ दिस मार्किंग वॉट एवर विल बी डन आई इट विल बी डन इन साइड आई एम देयर डोंट यू डू हरिनाम डोंट डोंट क्राई ही जस्ट स्टार्टेड डूइंग हरिनाम and uh, harinam is doing with cheerful mood and uh, 1231 from where that snake has just came that snake came like this that snake is doing everyone knows in kalna very famous incident is it and uh, so child is uh, crying hey, don't cry that let him do he can't come inside this nice snake the snake cannot come inside and the glorification of nam is so much the effect of harinam is so much and he has just made one marking just by the effect of harinam because harinam is bhagwan he has so much faith bhagwat bhagwan das baba ji maharaj he is doing harinam no is naam siddh so this uh, child was saved and after that that snake just went away from there without doing anything and in the morning just uh, mother just came and that uh, child is actually saved and he just got very surprised that is actual glorification of naam you see so look whatever is there so those who are that kirtan kari is a whole uh, uh, family will just get delivered i have just given you lot of examples regarding this like parlad maharaj ji nirsingh dev how he has just delivered hirana kishpo not like that i am speaking the kirtan kari whatever disease is there everything will get rectified in this present situation before some yog before starting this granth one foreign devotee has just shown me that just by concentration you can just get rid of the disease lot of people are there doctor actually speaking you will definitely die and now you see harina mein so much glorification they are just by concentration of harina जो हमारा दैट अवर माइंड दैट इज दैट फाइन फॉर्म इन द फाइन फॉर्म अवर माइंड इज देयर मटेरियल माइंड इज देयर दैट सो मच पावर इज देयर ऑफ दिस मटेरियल माइंड दैट यू कांट इवन इमेजिन जस्ट बाय टेकिंग द सपोर्ट ऑफ दैट इफ यू आर जस्ट कंसंट्रेटिंग योर माइंड डेफिनेटली यू विल जस्ट गेट आउट ऑफ द डिजीज इसको बोलते हैं सबकॉन्शियस माइंड दैट इज कॉल्ड सबकॉन्शियस माइंड इसका नाम है सबकॉन्शियस माइंड दैट इज कॉल्ड सबकॉन्शियस माइंड जस्ट बाय टेकिंग द सपोर्ट ऑफ पावर ऑफ सब सबकॉन्शियस माइंड योगी एंड यानी एवरीथिंग कैन डू विद दैट ओनली सो इफ दे आर डूइंग लाइक दे दैट दे आर जस्ट डूइंग कंसंट्रेशन ऑन भगवत नाम दैट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट नथिंग इज देयर that is the top most to concentrate on hari naam in padma puran also in hari vansh hari vansh puran in padma puran aur skand puran lot of uh, uh, examples and proofs are there that vyasdev ka kushth hua the sambha sambha got uh, cold leprosy there are lot of reasons are there i can't speak that much sambha actually getting that leprosy and uh, vyas dev speaking to samba that no medicine is actually working on him you see in this material world also it's like this that you can see the case lot of examples or uh, people are there that people have just uh, doctor has given that they can't be saved now you see you ask you call bhagwan now lot of examples are there and uh, for doctor it is nothing to do and he just uh, uh, call bhagwan that's it and after that he is just saved in calcutta me in calcutta also there is one kind similar incident they they have told that this person will definitely die in hospital and inside in the building uska mukhan pe hari katha chhod is in the in his uh, uh, flat hari katha is going on and naam sankirtan is going on and just by the that prabhav effect of naam sankirtan is so much that all the uh, all the family members are just uh, to all together with all the sadhus they are speaking hari naam 
they are just speaking hari naam by that and strange thing is that i already know this kind of uh, incident that doctors already told that nothing can be done definitely this person will must have died how he hasn't died how it is possible definitely he has to die but still he is not died dead so he has just taken the support of harina harina support is so much powerful that vyasdev ji actually speaking to samba samba when the no medicine actually is working then the top most medicine then you do one thing Only by the topmost medicine, Hari Nam. You just everything you can just destroy with full confidence and faith on Hari Nam. Everything will be done in that by Hari Nam. Slowly, steadily by doing Hari Nam. Slowly, steadily, Samba just got rectified from this leprosy material condition. Like it's just kind of Lila. Like Bhagwan also have done uh, the Lila of uh, this disease. The Bhagwat Nam actually is. just uh, destroying all kind of uh, we have already just heard about how family will get uh, delivered <coughs> and will destroy each and every pap and sinful activity now you understand uh, it is just uh, hari naam is just destroying all kind of distress also no kind of distress will just uh, will removed by hari naam just by naam just by uh, speaking the qualities and the guna of uh, hari naam just by hearing hari naam definitely bhagwan will come inside the heart like uh, like the sun god sun god when it is coming uh, infinity sinful activities are destroyed automatically in the same way the jeev also have the same thing that uh, by hari naam everything is destroyed sinful things so the six hours to come we have already glorified about the hari naam glorification that bhagavat naam that in this kaliyug is topmost whatever uh, barrier of kaliyug kaliyug is there it is the actual solution that is actual medicine of all those barriers by bhagavat naam this barrier of hari this barrier of kali can be destroyed kali can't do anything brahad bhagavat puran also in kali kali dharma prasang it is written that those persons who are doing uh, this uh, in this very dangerous kali he is doing uh, they are haven't taken the those who have taken the ashray of hari ram they are actually all uh, delivered in this kal- kaliyug will not at all uh, doing anything to them who is doing hari naam by bhagavad naam in some karma and there are some defects in some karma i have already told you and in some kriya karma and some uh, there is some defect or some in some object is some getting defect and some uh, time is having defect some mantra is having defect definitely with hari naam bhagavad shukracharya actually speaking in front of hari naam bhagwan that if there is some fault of mantra and tantra or any desh and country and kal and any object there is some fault and there is some asoch some any kind of thing there is some fault is there then by your hari naam by naam sankirtan only everything will get rectified भगवान नाम जस्ट बाई स्पीकिंग दैट दैट वी कैन जस्ट डू ऑल देदर्स वी कैन जस्ट डू ऑल दाइम्स ऑफ वेदर्स जस्ट बाई स्पीकिंग हरी नाम हाउ you are already remember this mahaprabhu when actually went to south india just by speaking this hari naam everything was done so that naturally this is the actual behavior of hari naam it is very sweet like actually speaking in front of prabhu prabhu from the birth only it is my swabhav that 
when i am actually seeing the mahima of hari naam i am just collecting that uh, glorification of naam mahaprabhu actually speaking from the birth only wherever i am just uh, hearing the glorification of hari naam i am just uh, noting that automatically that bhagwat naam ka mudi there is one book is there bhagwat naam ka mudi there is only glorification of naam only whole book is glorification of naam very important uh, person has written this book madha charya in the line of madha charya has written i just need to see that who has written bhagwat naam ka bhagwat naam ka mudi there is one book i have also in the in which all the shlokas of bhagwat bhagavatam that is on the glorification of naam only very surprising to see that but still we have that confidence so bhagwat naam just by doing that infinity vedas we will be doing the glorification of that in the vishnu dharmotra quran it is written pralan maharaj actually speaking that those that hari krishna krishna who is speaking these two words hari and krishna definitely he will get delivered all rigved yajur sam all kind of vedas he has done already studied that he got the fruit of that you will not uh, believe that no what to do in that in skand puran also in parvati devi she is speaking that uh, you don't need to uh, glorify vedas just only do govind naam and just do nitya kirtan of that you will just get uh, get full treasure out of that don't worry about that beta in the south india also i can't remember the name there is one place there actually one person he has just get so much prema towards naam when devi just got uh, manifested in front of uh, her of him i can't remember the name he just given the breast milk devi given the breast milk to that person bhagwan naam ke dwara jai bhagwat naam different kind of uh, tirthas where where you are going all actually will get the fruit we don't need to go anywhere bhagwan naam ke dwara bhai bhagwan naam different kind of tirtha where you are going everything will be done why because in the skanda puran it is written that uh, on to the tongue of those persons that hari uh, that two sh- words are just uh, coming on the tongue why you are going to that kashi varanas pushkar why to go there there is no there is any need to go there no in vaman puran also it is written that millions of tirth are there on this earth millions of tirth are on this earth that kind of power is there inside the na hari naam in the name of vishnu everything you will get in that in each and every place don't need to go everywhere everything you will get in this hari naam bhagavat naam by bhagavat naam different kind of uh, tirth atan where you will be going to different tirth and holy places definitely you will get the fruit result of that and all kind of uh, swakarm whatever you are doing you will get the fruit of that may be like at the time of uh, gokoti danam and just giving donation of cows all kind of uh, i'll be just be uh, talking day by day about this lot of days are there at the time of surya grahan when there is some uh, at the time of lunar lunar eclipse and solar eclipse there is actually the glorification of hari naam and there is some ayuth yagya uh, at that time gone donation of cows and other donation when you are giving gold coins at that time that is nothing it is not at all equivalent that is not 1 by 108th part of govind naam still it is not equal to that hari naam barabar bhi nahi ho sakta aaye bas samajh le can you understand this point aaye bas samajh le That's why, by actually Bhagwan, that uh, this name glorification, we are Prabhupada actually speaking. Nobody actually understand in this point. Guru Dev also used to speak this. That when at the time of solar eclipse and lunar eclipse, 
Prabhupada actually speaking that uh, by Nam Sankirtan only when it will be going on continuously and that normal Seva of Bhagwan it should be going on. 